Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and today's topic is game schooling math. So there's a lot of fun math games. Here are some of the ones that we have found uh, that we enjoy. The first is going to be bingo. There's a lot of variations to bingo, and it's a pretty easy one that you can create your own mathematical lesson for. Um, these are a couple that we found um, at the dollar bin at Target. So there's math bingo, and it has um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, but you could just do, you know, parts of that if you wanted to. Um, and we also have time bingo, and these have cards that have the digital, um, and then they also have on the picture, the bingo is an analog clock. So it's matching the digital to the analog. Um, and those have been fun. It's a game, so you know, that makes it um, interesting. And then, um, you know, there can be a winner and we all love to, you know, have games that have a winner. <laughs> um, but playing bingo, it's a concept that it's a game that most people are familiar with. Um, so it'd be easy for your learner to learn bingo and then just work on whatever concept is actually involved with the bingo, generally matching some question to an answer. Another game that we enjoy doing um, for math is dominoes. Um, I have double nine dominoes here um, just because then we can add up to higher numbers. And so we will add um, them up as we go to do points. Um, we don't generally do like the only if it's a multiple of five because then that gives us less opportunities to add. So we add up all the points. Every time you make a point, then we add all the ends every time you add a domino. Um, so that way we get to practice our addition a lot more. Um, and then, you know, we get to have some really high points numbers and that always seems very rewarding. There are a lot of games actually that, you know, we can incorporate addition into just by adding up the points. Um, I don't have them with me right now, but uh, Quirkle and Sushi Go are a couple of other games that we enjoy to play and they have points. And so keeping, uh, making your learner be the scorekeeper and keep track of everybody's points is a way to incorporate math into that. Um, Another one that we really like, we discovered that we really like this over the summer is Yahtzee. Um, and we just made our own little dry erase scorecards. Um, and so here's the numbers and the points. Um, we can practice the multiplication because we have, oh, if you have one one or three ones or five ones, what's one times five? If you have three fours, what's three times four? Um, so that way we can um, practice multiplication because we're learning some early multiplication facts. Um, and that one's fun because it involves dice rolling. And again, the possibility to get a Yahtzee, five of all the same and get some bonus points. So that's been super fun. Um, this is an older game. Um, a lot of the games that I find, I find at secondhand shops and I love to find games at secondhand shops because I think those games are a little bit more interesting than some of the newer ones. Um, but this one is called Topple. And the idea is that it's balanced and then you add the different colored pieces across the board. Now, what you can't see from this, but on the boards, they actually have numbers on each level. So this is five, this is four, this is three, this is two, and this is one, which means that you get points. So the way that we've done it, if you put one on one, then that's one times one, you get one point. If you put one on five, then that's five points, one times five, but then you can add to it. So if I can stack three, if I stack the third one on number five, that's three times five. So that's 15 points that I get. Um, so that's always fun. And again, it's something that gets a lot of addition or multiplication in there. Um, and then um, you could do subtraction because obviously when they get unbalanced, they fall off. Um, we didn't generally don't do the subtraction piece because it's hard to tell who's where, where and whatnot. But, um, um, but we like to do the addition and the multiplication. 
And then the last game, again, is a little bit of an older game. Um, you can tell by the pictures and the clothes that they're wearing. Um, but this is Smath and it is basically like um, Scrabble except with math equations. So the tiles have numbers and addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division signs. Um, there are equal signs in there and the numbers and the mathematical signs have points. So you can both make equations that equal each other um, for your math concept and then also calculate the points for scoring. Now we generally don't do the points in that because it involves a lot of math just to get the equations in there. But we play, right now we're playing with just the addition and subtraction. Um, uh, mathematical uh, symbols in there. Um, but like I said, there is multiplication and division. And the idea is that you would draw those out of the bag and you would try to make whatever equations you could, just like Scrabble. And on the board, they're also like, you know, two times this equation or three times this square. So again, another fun game. It's got points, basically any game with points and scorekeeping um, or games that involve money like Monopoly or Life or um, any of those games that have money in them. Um, those would be great for practicing math concepts. And then these are some that in particular, the game itself requires the math concept. If you have other ideas, games that practice math that you enjoy, please share them below. Thanks.